guys, so this will be my second YouTube video. I'm kind of excited. Um, so today I asked on my Snapchat and my Instagram to ask me some questions for a Q&A so you guys can get to know me better. So I'm just going to get started. So my first question was my dream job. My dream job is to be an RN and I think I want to work in a hospital and I've I've had that dream for years now, so I don't think it's going to change. But yeah. Oh, and if you guys don't know, an RN is a registered nurse, so yeah. Um, the next question was favorite store. I would have to say Walmart because everything's so like cheap there and I don't know, they have good stuff. And the next question was, are your parents still together? No, they are not still together. Um, they're divorced, so if you guys want to see a room tour of my mom's house, because I did a room tour of this room, I will do that for you. Um, my favorite scent. You know what? Let me just show you. So my favorite scent is actually this uh, Sugar Crush Lime one. Anyway. It smells exactly like those Tootsie, like those flavored Tootsie Rolls, the lime one, and it smells so good. Yeah, I like using that. As you can see, it's already like that much gone. So, anyway, the next question is boyfriend. No, I do not have a boyfriend. <clears throat> cats or dogs? I personally like cats better, but I don't see anything wrong with dogs. They're kind of just a little bit energetic for me, and I mean, they kind of smell, so I guess those are the downsides to them, but I know they're very, like, empathetic, and yeah, so I'm okay with them. Uh, the most recent book I've read, uh, that would be Behind Closed Doors. I do not know who it is by, but it was a super good book. This is what life is when you live with a six-year-old sister who shares a room with you. I'm gonna pause this. <laughs> okay, she's gone now. <laughs> um, makeup versus no makeup. I am wearing makeup. It's very minimal. And I do wear makeup on occasions. I don't see anything wrong with it unless you're using it to like cover up your insecurities. Like I. I just feel like you need to work past that, otherwise it's not going to be good for your mental state. And no makeup is totally okay too, like, I love that. So, I'm on either side. Um, my favorite song, I would have to, it's really hard, but uh, you know what, let me look through my playlist. I have to say my favorite song is Make Em Wait by Abby Anderson, it's a super good one. Yeah. So I recommend it. For you guys to listen to oh any recommendations for workout plans um you know i'm not really one for working out i should get into it more but um <laughs> i'm planning on it but i think if you do like arms and abs one day legs and like glutes the next and like kind of alternate and then have one day for like stretching or rest that should be good if you want a uh, further in detail i guess i can do a workout video if you guys want that comment down below so yeah oh somebody said your hair looks great but why dye it and why purple thank you and why dye it that's a good question so our dance team made it to state this year and we were kind of joking and like before we went to state and we were like well if we make it to state we'll dye our hair um well I wanted to stick to my word, so I was like, so I was looking into it, and um, purple, I just thought would look good on my skin tone. I love blue, but uh, blue would make me look really pale, so that's why I didn't do blue. And so yeah, I just wanted to dye it in like, memory of going to state, because it was a really cool experience. Next page. How many siblings? So I have two half brothers with my mom and one half sister with my dad and my half brother is seven and two and then my half sister is six so 
any sports I am in. Yes, I am in dance and we made it to the state. So that was fun. Ever done any drugs? I know who sent this question in and it's my best friend. <laughs> no, I have not. She sent that in because she know I'm the farthest person away from it. I'm so against them. It's unreal. Like I'm, I haven't even tried a vape or like anything. Just it's terrible, guys. Do not do drugs. Do not smoke. Don't drink. I'm done on that spiel. Favorite animal. My favorite animal is. I was gonna say cat, but like. It's not as exciting. That's my favorite domestic animal. If we're not talking about domestic animals, I would have to say a giraffe or an elephant. I have a lot of elephant figurines, so I'll say elephant. Aliens, real or fake? Um, I don't think there's enough evidence to prove that aliens are real, and so therefore I think they're fake. I don't know. But then, on the other hand, I I look into it sometimes, and it seems like there could be. You know, they they look for, like, if there's, if the planet has, like, enough oxygen or, like, a source of water, but, like, none of the planets really have that, and so you think they, if there were aliens, they wouldn't be living off water, they'd be living off something else. So I feel like they're looking into the wrong things, but that's just me. Are ghosts real? <laughs> no, I do not think ghosts are real. Um, I believe in angels and demons, but uh, ghosts, I just, I don't think they're real. Uh, why start a YouTube channel? Um, one of my reasons is, you know, we're self-quarantining right now and everybody's bored, so I figure, why not? You know, I'm bored, you guys are bored, so maybe you can watch this. <laughs> And another reason I've kind of wanted to start one for a while now is if I can inspire or help one person with something, like, that's enough for me. Like, I mean, like, these videos, like, room tours and challenges and, like, Q&As are all fun and all, but I'm probably going to be doing some more serious videos, too, about, like, mental health and stuff. So if I can help one person, it's worth it, you know? So if I had one day left to live, what would I do? <laughs> Are you planning on killing me tomorrow? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If I had one day left to live, I would probably spend a lot of time with my family and friends and uh, eat all the food I wanted to. I'd eat pizza, I'd eat lemon bars, I'd eat so much food. It'd be awesome. And I'd just cuddle with my pets and yeah. Favorite color? Well, as you can tell, I like purple. I like lilac and blue so it doesn't really matter what type of blue but i i like um perry that's one of my favorite facebook notifications <laughs> um favorite ice cream cookie dough but my favorite is the ben and jerry's um all dough like the you know what else what is it called it's where Oh, half-baked brownie and cookie dough. You guys need to try that. Ben and Jerry's. And uh, there's a gas guy coming to fill up a gas tank here. So that's great. <laughs> Why can't I be in your Q&A? Um, because you're not here. <laughs> that was my best friend again. Um, who inspires me the most? Um, that's a good question. I have a lot of people who inspire me. But uh, probably my number one would be Jesus because he's, he's perfect and he lived a perfect life. And I feel like all Christians should um, strive to live by him and stuff. So, yeah. What is my greatest strength? I think my greatest strength probably is being empathetic. Um, I can really feel for people. I, like empathetic and sympathetic I mean like I've gone through a lot of things that other people have and I can be sympathetic even when like they haven't like I haven't gone through the stuff they are but I can I can feel with them so yeah I always try to be kind and um help them people through their problems so and my last question 
is what is your view on COVID-19? And I, I think there is a real concern for it. And I also think some people aren't taking it seriously enough um, because now they have info that it doesn't just um, really hurt old people. It's hurting everybody now. And I think it was wise that they're telling people to self quarantine and they, they shut down a bunch of stuff because we don't want this to be an even bigger pandemic than it already is. And I also think that we are called as Christians to pray about it. Like, even if you're not a Christian, okay, I'm, I'm trying to call you to Christ right now, but I'm not pressuring you. Um, I feel like we all need to pray about it because what if that is the answer? Like, what if God is waiting for us to all come together and pray and then he will cure us all, you know? I don't know. That's just what I believe and I think we should be putting our faith in Christ and not panicking. I know it's way easier said than done and I am not the perfect example for that whatsoever because I'm kind of going stir crazy in my house too, but um, yeah, that's just kind of my view on it. So I'm curious to know yours. And if you have any new video recommendations, please comment them down below. And I hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my TikTok. And I think I'm done. Woo! <laughs>